look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> Cloud? Is something wrong? It's nothing. <sighs> you can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident, and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in. So there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Cause I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. What's that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh... Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. <sighs> I wonder if we can use this. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. <sighs> Piece of cake! Give me a sec! And here comes the ladder! Well, what did I tell ya? You did it! Yeah. <laughs> uh... Hmm? Alright, good enough. Let's keep on trucking. Hmm... Stop! Did we wake it up? I'll take care of you. That's long. Huh, that's weird. There used to be a way through here. Looks like a dead end. Hey, I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? <sighs> yeah? Huh? Uh... <sighs> <sighs> oh no, look! 
Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. <sighs> okay, right there! Hold on, while I drop the ladder! Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages! <laughs> Campament uh, composite... I don't get it! Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple! <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh... It's like... Compensation... For damages! Oh yeah! <laughs> That's what you get when you, no, when somebody else... We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due... Do recompense? Uh, no shit for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh it's like, uh... uh, 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 uh Compensatory damages! Um, of course! So damages recompense! I get it! <laughs> I think we've heard enough. <laughs> okay, guys. Whatever you do, don't move. Don't look! Just don't look! I'm dead. Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Wait, you guys! Don't leave me! I'm coming! Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Uh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm, got it? <sighs> Thanks for the lift! I'll have that ladder down for you in a sec. That went pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? We made it! Smell the fresh air? Cloud! Top. <laughs> All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No, I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> <sighs> you 
know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Uh, are you okay? Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. Won't take long. <sighs> Ready. <sighs> Want to get to Sector Seven in style? This is the passageway for you. Gonna be okay getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <sighs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. <sighs> Guess this is it then. Ready? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Tifa? <laughs> Cloud, you're alive. I thought we'd lost you. What's going on? I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Come on! Okay. Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! 
Hey there. Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well, she's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? What are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Warm, relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty ladies. Oh, that's what I need. Oh, to enter or not to enter, that is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? <laughs> I knew it! Let me guess, after you've had your fun, you fall into a spiral of shame and self-loathing. But it only lasts a moment, doesn't it? Next thing you know, you're right back here again. Huh? Got a question for me? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Keep us here? Why? Tell me why! Oh god, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She came looking for me to beg me not to leave her! <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny! Your Tifa needs you! Tifa, I'm coming, baby! Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. <laughs> Check it out. Uh... I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute, it's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud? 
Requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is, hmm? Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But, to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. What Not you, you two again. Stupid Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got guy. nothing for you. Now scram! Wait, here's us out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time we'll be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then, how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Guess right, and I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Heads. Tails. You lose. Uh. Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Hmm. <sighs> Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Supposed to go mm. down like this. I'm so excited. Uh, this place? I wanted to see Andrea. I think so. My weak will. Let me handle this. But it was you like... wait out here, okay? And why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Good evening. Oh. Uh, hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. 
Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes, well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm hmm We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, for love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Mm. Uh. Uh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't head in shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... <laughs> hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? Well then, it should go without saying that you get what you pay for. All four fingers at once, quick and to the point. Uh, uh, little rough. Hmm? They can stop at any time if it's too much to handle. Try flexing the muscles. You'll feel the difference. Hmm? Loose and limber. Am I right? Actually, yeah. Hmm. How was it? It's all right, I guess. What are you doing? Flexing. Flexing. Uh, never mind. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? <sighs> All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So, 
now. Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But you cannot go dressed like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. God Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too cocky, okay? Huh? What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus. Like you should. Hey! Lovebirds! Over here! In the city that never sleeps! In the paradise of debauchery it's in! The pain and pleasure! Where your every desire can be indulged for the right price! Oh, to you as Dean Connoisseur of the Chaos and Bloodshed, we bid you the warmest of welcomes. Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart or beyond shall be yours to witness here in the Corneo Coliseum! Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents! Thoroughly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they vomit blood. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the kill and the glory. And now, the long awaited event in which the Blood Star Beast will battle for your amusement in the bonus! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes. And tonight, Corneo Tower! This place is really something. Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly.
Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next batch, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day! Well, this is their first tournament, the bad first day, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! with that lummy-dummy bullshit. What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl? <laughs> okay, now I'm mad. Zero what if Walmart gets owned a renowned master of beasts? Will his pets make a meal of our two challengers before our very eyes? They've already been driven their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon dogs of hell. The Sanguine Stalkers! A milk blade feast! You brought animals? Oh? First timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. Ladies and gentlemen, who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink! Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! Start! Can you believe it? I don't think anyone saw this coming! What a completely unexpected turn of events! And the winners of our match are Cloud and Eren! Contenders, please return to your waiting room. Well, that's one win down. Go team! Hmm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah, wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semi-finals! Fresh from their first date with death, I present the lucky couple! We're like unlucky for the rest of us! Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric! Couple my ass! What the hell you two try to pull? You assholes cost me a fortune! Yeah, yeah! Their opponents, reavers in the scrapyard, thieves and killers through and through! Two criminal for common criminals, the worst of the worst! Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets, because they may have already robbed you blind! The most contemptible sons of bitches inside of Wall Market, Bex Benefits! Looking gentlemen, it would seem that there are actually eight members of Beck's badasses. Hey, that's cheating. The only rule here is that there are no rules. Yeah. If Corneo says it's okay, you gotta suck yeah. it up. Yeah. Yeah. Suck it. The not have branded his approval. This is ridiculous. The odds are overwhelmingly stacked against this. This could be a real bloodbath. 
so I implore you, ladies and gentlemen, don't look away, or you may miss the best part! The second match of the Corneo Cup semifinals begins oh, wow. now! Say your knife! Go on! That's it! This can't be it! Oh, freaking believable! What the hell did I just see? It was two against, uh, I don't remember how many exactly, but a lot! But somehow, the winners of our match are... Once again, Cloud and Eren! That kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> That is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who've surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eren! Yeah! You can do better than that! And now, five-time winners of the Corneo Cup! Murder machines with countless kills to their names! Along with a handful of maimings! The deadly duo that takes out the trash with a vengeance! The electric executioners! Chocobo Sam's champions! Cutting and sweeping! Come on out! More like Shinra armor. More like cheating! <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history! Mm. The, the final, final match, match of the Corneo Cup, Cup begins now! <laughs> You're burning up! This has never... I can't believe it! And the winners of the Corneo Cup, the deadly and dynamic duo, Cloud and Aerith! My condolences. Hmm. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. 
When you bet it all on a toss, sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame Im's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But... You still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that?! <laughs> you greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit festering asshole! <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Go on now. That prize money is going to pay for your dress. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps! Hope your next match is even better than the last! Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all! Show them what you got! Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one Don Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order! <laughs> Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Cloud and Aaron! Buried in the bowels of the Coliseum, the Bohor, long imprisoned, set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Corneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! It's just... a house. It's no ordinary house. The manifestation of pure evil versus the most badass couple this side of Midgar! Have you ever seen a fight more incredible, more epic? You have not! No sir, you have not! They'll be singing songs about tonight for generations to come! Keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen! The Cup's final, final battle begins now! Oh, the battle is joined! And already I can tell you this bonus match will not get the point! It's on you. Here goes! Yoo-hoo! You'll see! Okay... We 
did it. Hmm. And the winners and champions, Cloud and Aerith. <laughs> yes. yes. What a finish! Can you believe it? He's amazing. That boy. <laughs> Awfully rare, you showing an interest in someone. What will you do? <laughs> there you are. I've been looking for you two. So, Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good, and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around comes around, and in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm gonna put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw-dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation, far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch. Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. Howdy. Madam M said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys' night out in Wall Market? Uh. Kidding. If I know the madam, and I do, this was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword. But when it comes to damn near anything else, well, can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons, neither. Seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect her while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? You game? Huh. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Merck. Nice going, champ. You were in fine form today. Here's your cut. You earned it. Not here for the cash. Tell me about Tifa. Ah, Tifa. She's something of a bombshell herself, huh? Girl keeps in shape, and boy does it show. Hey. 
Just making an observation, that's all. Anyway, seems like you're serious about getting the poor girl out of her predicament. I could tell easy enough by the way you fought back there. Cut to the chase. Well? You helping or not? Never said I would. Opposite, even. Getting mixed up in other people's business isn't my way. Plus, as you are now, I reckon you could ride to her rescue without anybody's help. And that's the truth. You've changed since you first rolled into this here town. For the better. <laughs> At any rate, I've said all I'm gonna say. Your lady friend ought to be done changing by now, am I right? She ain't no Tifa, but she is a firecracker. Keep her waiting too long and she might just blow up in your face. She, she's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud. Bro. I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said. The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Be, be. I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. Huh? Huh? Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! Again. Got a letter of approval right here. Hmm? Huh? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. really... Yeah. Corneo's got certain tastes. This dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, 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 yeah. 
loud. Uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Why are we here? To see the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. Alas, most of the audience can't appreciate the true meaning of his work. I've dreamt of this moment. The Honey Bee Inn! Oh. And here's the man of the hour! Chosen by Andrea himself! Our honored guest! This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! <laughs> <laughs> Delicious! Perfection! Work it, honey! Wow! Fabulous! Just like that. Perfection! Work it, honey! Delicious! <laughs> You've got real rhythm, mister. Move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Come on, come on! The show's about to start! <laughs> my, my! Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> oh. Now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, oh, he's flushing. It can be bitter, but we can make it all so sweet. Here at the Honey Bee.
Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Think you can follow my lead? Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin!
haben. Perfection. True beauty is an expression of the heart. A thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid, Cloud. That show today blew my mind! Hey, look at me! I can dance too! How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. I'll buy it you was a amazing. drink. We can talk. Oh, was wow. it planned from the start? Now that was a show. Did you see their look of surprise? Cloud? I'm gonna perfect. Yoo-hoo, Cloud. Hello? Uh, Aerith to Cloud, come in. Aerith to Cloud, come in. Please don't. Not a word. Such beauty. Not it's even one. No. Wouldn't you agree? But you're so pretty. I would give anything to get to know her. Hey, one more drink. What, what do you say? No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madame M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. feel so dizzy. Gas. Uh, uh. Come on. <laughs> Damn it. Cloud. Hey, hey, hey. So, pretty ladies do. Feeling a little lightheaded, but I can't have that. Let's say we escort you to the parlor, so you can make yourself more comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now, Lopsy Daisy. Hey, you had to repent, asshole. The hell? You want to throw down the Corneo's girl? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a one. I know. Managed to wrangle some real lovers this time, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, can you hear me? <clears throat> Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. <gasps> Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <sighs> you good? Yeah. Bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, 
Thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? Whom gives me the creeps? <laughs> now ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Okay, my beautiful ladies. Time to line up for the dawn. Kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies. Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> Days? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. <laughs> oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, 
praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. So, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> Don't uh, you stupid! Oh, wait! Good job, Eric! It was nothing compared to you! Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts, your gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Better hurry. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time with girls like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. What are you doing here? Get him! <laughs> no surprises there. <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! <sighs> Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <gasps> oh. 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 So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! Hmm. <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. 
I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> when they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> 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 Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Reeve. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. Tifa? to get back to the slums right now. Yeah. I didn't want to drag Aerith into all this. She'll understand. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it. Sure there isn't something else going on? Um. with that. Here goes. I got this.
it goes. Do you think it lives down here, or...? It was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? Hmm. I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm. 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 Uh, uh. Tifa! I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche thing, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity, in emergencies. Sure we're not lost? Positive. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. Let's find that first. Lead the way! Is it safe to go through here? It's really dark. I'm sure we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, Cloud. Assuming Corneo was telling us the truth, what do you think Shinra's really up to? I mean, they've got to have an endgame. But I can't imagine what it is. Destroying a whole chunk of the city just to get back at us doesn't make any kind of sense. Yeah, I can't imagine any way they could profit from it. It's gonna cost them a fortune to rebuild. Corneo's lying. He's gotta be. Guys like him do it all the time out of habit. That's a power generator, all right. Wow, talk about ancient. It's an antique. Older than the Mako reactors, even. It'd be a miracle if it still works. Wait a minute. I know this place. Sector 7 should be just on the other side of this waterway. So this is where Sector 6 ends. And where Sector 7 begins. Once we cross over, we can start looking for a way back to the surface. Might be harder than you think. Let's just try to make our way down this tunnel. See if we can't use those gates to clear a path. We can do this. We'll figure it out. Yeah, for sure. Get across. I'll go first, okay? <sighs> Damn it. I can't stop thinking about what Corneo said. I know. Me too. It's gotta be a trick. There's no way they'd go that far. But what if Corneo really was telling the truth? We have to get there in time to stop it. We have to. Right. <sighs> Aerith, what are you not telling me? Huh? Uh... Guys, come on. We gotta keep moving. Coming! I'll go first. Mm. Turn. On my way. Here we go.
Almost there. least I could do. Hear that, Cloud? <laughs> Come on. thinking about the plate? Yeah. The future isn't set in stone. That's what I always tell myself. Yeah. I hope you're right. How about this then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector 7, you're gonna... I'm gonna... Go shopping. Topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar, decorations, coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then it's a date. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud can carry all her stuff. He'll be our pack chocobo. <laughs> what was that about me? Nothing. Sorry about that. No need to be. <sighs> Look, that must be the way out. I wonder. There must be some way we can lower the water level. Guys, check it out. Seventh Heaven's water tank has something similar. I'm betting we can use this to control the sewage level. Hey Cloud, you want to give it a try? This ought to drain the water, right? No luck? Must be busted. A red light indicates a blockage, apparently. We can use the hand pump to clear the blockage. Sounds about right. I remember having to do this at the bar before. All right. I'll... Aerith, you mind giving me a hand? Cloud, you stay put. Keep an eye out for more red lights. Wait, I'm not sure... Trust me, this is the best way to handle it. We'll be back soon. So maybe this is a little different from the one at the bar. More... industrial? Here goes! Head back. Cloud's probably getting worried.
Nicely done. We make a great team. Go team! Bring it. Would kill for a shower. Sure is nice to go up for a change. Hope the pillar's not much further. Hang back. I'll go on ahead and secure the exit. for more. We're not delicious. Not even a little bit. Get going. No. Okay. You too. But there's too many of them. Not for me. Hurry. Last warning. Back off or die. 